In this tutorial, we will be learning how to find the volume of 3D objects. Volume is the amount of material that makes up an object. They are measured in units cubed. So, for example, if you imagine one centimeter cubed, you would think of a cube with the height, width, and length of one centimeter. When you find the volume, you are finding how many of these cubes can fit into the object. Just to help you visualize this concept, let's look at this object. It is one centimeter wide, one centimeter thick, and three centimeters tall. We can imagine how many of our imaginary one centimeter cubes can fit into this shape. As you can see here, three of the cubes can fit. There is an easier way of figuring out the volume of an object. Because fitting our one centimeter cubes into an object would be impractical in the real world. Instead, we can use formulas to help us calculate it. For our shape, a rectangular prism, we can take the surface area of the base and then multiply it by the height. You can remember this equation to use on rectangular prisms from now on. We can multiply 1 times 1 times 3 for the height, and of course, as expected, we get 3 centimeters cubed. Suppose you are building a wall out of concrete. You know that you want the wall to be 3 meters high, 0.5 meters thick, and 5 meters long. Concrete is sold in bags that fill 1 meter cubed each. How many bags of concrete would you need to buy to finish your project? To find the volume of the prism, we take the equation for the base and then multiply it by the height. In this case, the base is length times width, and then we multiply it by the height. This is the equation that you can use for the volume for a rectangular prism. We can input our values to the equation, and we find that our wall will be 7.5 meters cubed. Therefore, we need seven and a half bags of concrete to make it. Let's try one more example. This time, we'll find the volume of a cylinder. So, it's a little bit more tricky. To find the surface area of a circle, we use the equation pi r squared. Then, we multiply by the height of the cylinder to get our volume equation. Looking on our shape, we can see that the radius is 2. We can put in our values and total it. Our volume is about 12.6 centimeters cubed. In this tutorial, you learned that the volume is the area that makes up a shape. To calculate the volume, you can find the surface area of the base of an object and then multiply it by the height. Once you know the equations for volume for each shape, it will make problems much easier to figure out. You simply will need to select the correct equation, input your values, and then you have your solution.